Hey, what's up guys? Uh, we're actually out here working on the Z a little bit. Garage is a mess because it's a rust bucket, you know? Yeah. But, like, while we're working on this, we kind of realized that neither of us have told you the story of what's going on over there on the Trailblazer. So, hey, I mean, a couple of you have been asking Trailblazer about- Trailblazer over there, as in the- uh parking of shame yeah the parking lot of shame with the trailblazer and the duramax but like we realized we never told you guys like the story of what it is like yes the engine went out back in february and everything and we spent a good minute so we'll walk over to the parking lot of shame and like get up close and say what's up dude oh, that sun is over there. where Dude, there is a bunny. Ooh, I can't zoom. All right, I'll show you the bunny if he he's still there. But like it's cleaning himself. Dude. But Duramax, it's got a pinhole wink. Is he still there? Oh yeah. Dude, look at him. Oh, did he take a freaking crap? Did he? I don't know. But So, parking lot of shame over here. Duramax pinhole wink in the rear main housing boring stuff but sexy trailblazer that we re rebuilt the motor on did a couple things to it blah -de blah but yeah good what? look yeah i don't want that penny. that's a good look penny. <laughs> that is not a good look penny do you see what it's been sitting in yeah so but good look, penny. so the story on this is we rebuilt the motor like fairly quickly and everything was going smoothly as it could for reinstalling a Trailblazer SS's motor wise because the axles yeah, are a freaking cool the axle. axles in the oil pan. But then got everything in. There was a couple of issues getting the spacing from the torque converter to the flywheel, etc. etc. Finally thought we got that figured out because I thought I had a cracked flywheel for a second and I'm, I never understood why but then got everything oh, to yeah, it was the ARP bolts. yeah they were too long because they were for a freaking LS one some weird stuff yeah so I ordered a wrong part number so then just put stock flywheel bolts back in Oh, flex plate because it's an auto. <laughs> but put those stock bolts back in and the noise went away slightly, but then... It started squealing, but then yeah. it went away and you thought it was good. Yeah. Put more fluid in it. Yeah. That's what it was. it was. Still wasn't what that was. So then took it out for a drive, was driving around the neighborhood. And it was it was doing all right like you know it was shifting going through everything because i got i cheaped out and got a torque converter from summit that was supposed to be around 2800 stall which is higher than the stock stall but that was going all right it was feeling really good sounding good i love the sound of that 60 when i miss it r.i.p <laughs> but <laughs> It was sounding good, going good. Took it around the neighborhood a couple of times. Was kind of annoying the neighbors because there's nothing really as loud as that in here. Besides Al. Yeah. Well, I don't count all of those imports that people cut their cats off. No, Al. Oh, yeah. With the Cobra. And his truck. Yeah, and his truck. But it was sounding good feeling good kept going around the neighborhood and, and I, I knew uh you took off and i knew i hadn't heard from you in quite a while and i knew something bad was gonna happen yeah so i'll break that down so like i was I, I was like feeling it like so excited i was like my baby's back together and this was like beginning middle of june-ish and i was like ah oh, it's it's going good guys like it's good like about to go like next day go and do hits with it and make a video i was ready to go to work with it the next day and there was a, te a track test day and i wanted to see what it would run with it too the next day i was so excited 
So then I was like, all right, it did good in the neighborhood. Let's take it out on the street and go. I go and take it out on the street and <laughs> it was doing all right, like shifting fine, feeling normal. And then I'm like, all right, cool. Like drove it about four or five miles. I was like, all right, cool. Time to head back home and did a U-turn and hit the gas just to get back up to speed. And then there was nothing. There is nothing at all, at all. <laughs> so like I freak out and I was like, oh, maybe the shifter linkage just came undone because we were messing with that when we had to scoot the transmission back to do all this and check that, that was still on there. And then like I started rowing through like reverse, nothing in reverse neutral was there <laughs> neutral was definitely there drive wasn't there third gear wasn't there second gear wasn't there first gear wasn't there like i had nothing like it was all neutraled out yeah. so tony was out at the store and i called no, I was here working oh you were yeah dude the way you have steve come tow you yeah so Tony didn't want to come tow me in the TC. Yeah. So uh, we called our buddy Steve that has that F body that you've seen a couple times on the channel. Yeah, he towed you in the F body. Yeah, he did that, which was... In the avalanche, not the avalanche. No, not the avalanche. <laughs> yeah, my bad. I'm tired right now, guys. But he towed me in the avalanche home. Like, we went 30 miles an hour home. Broke the tow strap because yeah. he, he yeeted it and cut the left hand turn to get into our house really tight broke the toe strap so we had to jerry rig that back up to get the rest of the way home but yeah, yeah. r.i.p now, now i went from three <laughs> toe straps to one yeah but ever since i got towed home it's been sitting there in the parking lot of shame with the trans fluid Train, leaking out transmission fluid out of it yeah so, so the trans is gone so we typically don't let fluid just drain out like that we had actually thought we were actually confused on what had happened because the best guess is the pump gets sheared from the incorrect torque. yeah installation the of a torque converter and so we're like confused so we went inside call a night came back out the next day and there was a puddle of transmission fluid um all over the road so yeah. we, i don't know why it took forever to just let it all out but yeah, so don't call the EPA. <laughs> yeah, uh, we currently reside in USA. Oh no, not USA. <laughs> now we move. We, yeah, yeah, we moved to Mexico. Sorry guys, the battery on the GoPro died real quick. I didn't see that. But uh, going back to that, it leaked trans fluid everywhere. But what are oh. you doing? Up, oh, he went back to working on the 280 stuff but there's a new yeah, trans 280 stuff get him a little 280 oh, yeah, stuff 280 fixer right there <laughs> but there i'm saying but a lot but this is what it is what it is so we do have a new trans on the way it is yeah, well not on the way you gotta go get it tomorrow yeah i do have to go little, get it tomorrow you know, gotta travel across you know the, the river <laughs> <laughs> <But> <laughs> so, so there's a stock trans i'm going to pick up it's got 102,000 miles on it picking it up for a decent price there was one in town that was only like 15 minutes away but the guy wanted stupid amount like core price on these transmissions for stock ones are like 750 and he wanted it over a g so that's not gonna fly in chance and tony's budget garage <laughs> yeah and like you literally wouldn't reply to messages or anything i kind of hate buying stuff on the internet sometimes someone give a plug well it's funny because it's been on there for what a year no not a nah, about four months yeah but i'm gonna give a plug real quick sponsor us to car-part.com oh, yeah. like that's where i found this trans that we're getting we were gonna keep that a secret but go check it out guys because uh it's a beautiful website yeah especially if you're looking for some stock parts off of stuff so picking up that trans uh the core charge on it was like 50 dollars. so just gonna keep the transmission that was in the trailblazer 
And me and Tony are going to learn how to build a transmission this winter. Yeah. Because Tony tried to, and his Allison, if he wants to talk about oh, that. Did that part not get talked about? No, it didn't. <laughs> yeah, guys. Not a fun time. It went out. Uh, me and my buddy, because you were deployed, we tried to build it. We didn't watch any videos. We expected to take it out, put it, new stuff back in exactly how it, was, how it was taken out. Which, I mean, really, that's basically the rundown on it. But you get into big issues with clearances and stuff like that. Uh, debris, cotton places. Um, and it was during the winter, so... We were really just set up for failure, um, yeah. <laughs> especially I had reverse in third gear. <laughs> but so we're going to learn how to build a 4L70. We're going to take you guys along for the ride of that when that comes along. But we'll put some good parts in that because plans with the Blazer is to put a little boost at it because I hate the fuel mileage on that. And the yeah. way to fix the fuel mileage on that is to boost it. Yeah, I would uh, say it would be awesome which may be able to find one we'll see yeah. but it is what it is other than that guys thanks for watching this video quick shout out to our giveaway oh yeah go check out that video i'll it put it ends... in the description it ends august 31st yeah. so make sure you go hit that like button on that video leave a comment on that video and hit that subscribe button please guys please, it just please please it just helps us bring you guys bigger and better stuff. But other than that, guys, we're going to go back, work on the 280. We got a video coming out after the big first drive, what all happened, et cetera, et cetera, what all we need to do. But thanks for watching, guys. We got to get back to work.